welcome back guys so this is going to be a live cpu throttling test for the following devices redmi note 9 pro snapdragon 720g processor realme 9 5g se snapdragon 778g processor poco xc pro snapdragon 860 processor poco fs snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 processor rock phone 5s snapdragon 8 plus processor redmi 12 5g snapdragon 4 gen 2 processor and this is xiaomi pad 6 snapdragon 870 processor using the same default settings in CPU throttling test on all of the devices. For my Xiaomi devices, I have added the application to game speed turbo mode. On my Realme phone, I have enabled performance mode from the battery settings. On my ROG phone 5S, I have enabled X mode. Quickly measure the temperatures at the start. 32 degrees Celsius on Redmi Note 9 Pro. On Realme phone, temperature is around 33 degrees Celsius. On POCO XC Pro, it is around 32 degrees Celsius. On POCO F5, it is around 32 degrees Celsius. High temperature on ROG Phone 5S, 34 degrees Celsius, not sure why. And this is Redmi 12 5G, 32.3 degrees Celsius. This is Xiaomi Pad 6, 32 degrees Celsius start the test I'll be running it for five minutes Okay, we are halfway through. No device is showing any signs of throttling. I switched on the air conditioner. Temperature is set to 25 degrees Celsius. Same environmental parameters for all of the devices. Alright, we are done. Stop the test. 5 minutes complete. On the left, I have Redmi Note 9 Pro Snapdragon 720G processor. On the right, I have Redmi 12 5G Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 processor. Minimum, average and maximum scores were higher on the latter. No CPU thermal throttling detected on both of the devices. Average score on Redmi 12 5G was around 195,000 GIPS. Very impressive. The thing is, this device's performance is crippled by its GPU. Adreno 613, even Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor has a better GPU than it. Average score on Snapdragon 720G processor was around 147,000 GIPS. Now I'll compare the performance of Redmi 12 5G with Poco XC Pro that has Snapdragon 860 processor. So on this device CPU throttled to around 91% of its max performance. Average score was around 179,000 GIPS. Both maximum and minimum scores were higher on Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 processor, that's really good to see. Now I'm comparing Snapdragon 778G and 4 Gen 2. The former has higher minimum average and maximum score. No CPU thermal throttling detected. Average score was around 251,000 GIPS. Excellent performance by Snapdragon 778G processor. Now we have Xiaomi Pad 6 Snapdragon 870 processor. CPU throttled to around 94% of its max performance. Average score was around 210,000 GIPS respectable scores now we have rock phone 5s snapdragon triplet plus processor it performed very poorly cpu throttled to around 83 percent of its max performance both minimum and average scores were higher on snapdragon 4 gen 2 processor this is just embarrassing average score on rock was around 194,000 gips this phone is garbage when it comes to performance 
Last but not least, we have Poco F5 Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor CPU throttled to around 90% of its max performance. Oh my god, look at that score. Average score was around 308,000 GIPS. Both minimum and maximum scores were really very high. Maximum score was around 328,000 GIPS. So guys, that's it with the video. I'll end it here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.